Okay, 60 Second Paris, it's me, David, your host. And we are in the absolutely stunning Musée du Art et Métier in Paris. It is the uh, Science, Technology and Industry Museum, and it covers multiple floors and multiple wings, and it's something you have to see when you come to Paris. But this is what I want to show you. This is Clément Adier's uh, Avion 3 his third aeroplane that he built, and those two propellers are actually powered by steam engines. It has a wingspan of about 16 meters, I think 20 meters, something like that, and it weighs about 450 kilos, roughly, more or less. I don't know the details. But the point is, this could have been the aeroplane that first achieved flight. It didn't, according to the research that uh, comes with the exhibition or about the airplane. And if you do some research, you'll learn that in um, the mid-October 1897, Clermont Edier took his airplane out to the countryside and tried to get it to fly. Uh, weather conditions were pretty bad. The plane apparently bumped around and, quote, and I'm translating, sporadically left the land. Uh, obviously not high enough and not for long enough uh, for the state, which was interested in his work, to continue funding the experiment. And uh, the wind also that day buffeted the plane pretty badly and ripped it apart pretty savagely. Needless to say, it's been completely restored. Um, based on that less than overwhelming experience, uh, Ade was disencouraged and gave up any further pursuits in aviation. And he subsequently turned over the airplane in 1903, uh, a significant aviation milestone for U.S. aviation, uh, in 1903 to the French uh, government, uh, the uh, Observatoire du Art et Métier. And here it is today. Uh, completely restored. If you come to Paris, this is but one of many staggeringly interesting uh, scientific and technological achievements you will see at the Musée. It is definitely worth a trip.